Hello guys and uh, welcome to this new video tutorial of uh, Dropship for Magento 2 and uh, in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to import products from AliExpress into your Magento 2 web store so like for importing the products into your Magento 2 web store uh, you will need the Dropship for 2 extension uh, you need to install this uh, module in the first place and after that the very first thing that needs to be done is that we need to install uh, the aliexpress importer uh, that's a file that's needed uh, that is needed to be installed uh, that helps to import the products from the aliexpress into your uh, magento 2 web store so let's get ahead and let's see how this can be done so initially i will be showing you uh, the admin backend so uh, the admin needs to go to his uh, uh, to his admin uh, panel in the first place and uh, after logging into his admin panel the admin needs to uh, navigate through stores uh, configuration and then under the uh, web cool uh, block you can see the dropship manager is there uh, you just need to navigate to the aliexpress settings and uh, here uh, we can install the aliexpress chrome extension uh, that's required for the uh, that's required for that's required for importing the products from the aliexpress to your to your magento web store so uh, what we'll be doing is uh, the admin just needs to click the install button and he'll be redirected to the magento 2 aliexpress importer extension uh, for the google chrome web browser and you just need to click the add to chrome button and after that uh, you can hit the add extension button and that would uh, install the extension very easily onto your google chrome browser so uh, we are done here and now uh, we can go to the aliexpress uh, website and now we uh, will we'll just refresh the page uh, once so uh, after the page has refreshed and now if we hover our mouse pointer over the uh, products we can see a blue icon so that's the aliexpress uh, importer icon that you can see uh, uh, that has been enabled after we have installed the aliexpress importer extension uh, on the google chrome web browser now the second step comes uh, that uh, uh, that uh, we need to authenticate our store so as to import the products for that what we'll do is we'll directly go to any of the products and we'll just click the uh, import list uh, we and after that uh, we need to uh, enter the store URL uh, the URL of the store uh, where the products are to be imported all right also please note uh, that if your store uh, setup contains any folder and then uh, you just need to add that folder name like uh, for example you can see that it's like uh, example.com forward slash the folder name uh, and like that so let me go ahead and let me enter the URL of the store uh, where I need to import the products uh, so I'll just paste uh, the URL first and I'll hit the next button after that I need to enter the username name and token uh, for the verification purposes so for that I'll just again go to the admin backend same configuration settings for the Aliexpress section and here you can see that uh, we have uh, entered the username as webcool and the token is as demo webcool uh, you can any ent you can enter any of the names there you can set any uh, username as per your wish and the token as well you can manually enter the token and then save the configuration and after that you can use the uh, manually entered username and token else if you wish you can um, directly click the update uh, token button to generate a new token uh, for the purpose so I've generated a new token I'll just copy that up and I'll save the configuration here all right the configuration has been saved and let me go to the uh, Aliexpress store now and here I'll type in the username that was webcool and I'll paste that uh, token here and he'll, I'll hit the submit button here you can see that the store has been authenticated and uh, the importer icon is also visible there I can search uh, using the search uh, uh, search box there or I can directly uh, or I can directly go to any of uh, the product categories there 
uh, so as to uh, improve the products one more thing is there that on the top right hand corner you can see a pen icon, an edit pen icon there uh, clicking that icon would bring up again the uh, Magento store URL that you entered the store where you are importing your products if you wish to change that up you can change that and you can even change uh, the uh, username and token as well uh, if you are having two Magento stores and um, definitely uh, you can separately import uh, the products uh, using this option there so we have already imported the uh, we have set up all the settings there and now to import the product we can directly click the import button and you can see uh, the store is authenticated and the product has been successfully imported as well and if I try again to uh, import that product here you can see that the product has already been imported so uh, that was all about how to import a product into uh, the uh, dropship for Magento 2 extension so let me go ahead and let me show you the back end where this product might have uh, been saved now so I'll navigate to dropship manager uh, then I'll go to Aliexpress products all right so we had clicked here on the three quarter sleeve uh, product that we had here and now let me show you that this product has already been here we have the lozenge three quarter sleeve here and we had the aliexpress product id as well and uh, we are not assigned any of the warehouses to it yet so uh, that was all about how to import the products from aliexpress into your magento 2 web store using the extension or using the module that's the dropship for magento 2 hope it helped you out and if you have any queries or uh, suggestions regarding the extension you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at uh, webcool.uvs.com thanks for watching the video have a great day ahead